Bolger Nihau! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a sit down, down video. video! Tim and I love talking Disney, and we love talking Disney with all of you. And one of the things that Tim and I always like when we're on road trips, just hang out in the living room, talk about Disney attractions and things that we wish there were. We love ideating and like ideating together. It's like so much fun. Yeah, like things that should be but aren't and probably will never be. But well, we thought it would be fun um, to kind of do a countdown of Disney movie moments that we think should be attractions in the Disney parks. And be sure to comment below on what you think should be attractions, if any of these are on your list, or what attractions might be on your list that you would love to see at Disney. Yeah, so we didn't really like think this over too much. We kind of were like thinking and writing. But I know there was ones probably that like when we thought of this idea like many months ago would have made the list but like we forgot so it's fine. So starting on number 10 on our list is Aladdin and I thought it would be cool to kind of like have the ride shaped as the magic carpet and then you know it could be like kind of like Winnie the Pooh theme where it's dark and you'll be on the actual carpet, kind of like Peter Pan, and then it takes you through um, Agrabah, the Cave of Wonders oh. first, and then like shoots you over to Jasmine's castle, and then like you finish it basically with like the whole new world. Like, oh, that would be pretty. And then like they could do like mist things, or like have like little birds flying at you and stuff. I always, I mean, the only Aladdin ride is the Magic Carpet ride, like the spinning ride. It's like a, and I told him when he said Aladdin, I was like, you're right. I saw it originally as like a Soarin' or um, Flight of Passage ride where you're like, you have the giant surround and you're like being projected through like different locations. As Same thing on flying on a carpet though. Yeah, I think the carpet would be more fun because mm -hmm. you, they have more to work with with that and it's not just like a screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disney loves their screens though. They do. The ninth choice will probably actually never happen because I don't think that it's popular enough, but I as a D&D player would love a Onward Dark Ride. I would love to be on like, can you imagine like a little boat that was like kind of looked like Guinevere or like the monster's car that like <laughs> looked like Guinevere. Or the Cheeto. Yeah, the big. Cheeto and you like just float through like the cave and you can float through all the wonderful scenes of New Mushroom Tin. And, like, it'd be really cool, and I just think it would be, you would feel like you're on a quest, you know what I mean? And, like, I just feel like Onward needs some love, because it is one of my favorite recent movies of late, so. Yeah, and they could, if they do Guinevere, they could do, like, a four-person, like, thing, kind of like the Spider-Man one. Yes! Where there's, like, people on the... You could, oh my gosh, you could really, you know, that'd be really cool now that you say the Spider-Man technology. So the Spider-Man technology is kind of like the Ratatouille ride, except it's on a track. It's just basically a simulator that can move with motion. So that would be really cool, because you, can you imagine, like, if the fairies got to you and then you floated, you'd have that, like, <laughs> illusion of, like, flying for a second? Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Or all of the spells. You could, like, with all of the spells that he knows, you could do some really cool stuff with, like, a simulator. I didn't think about simulation until just you said that. So, great idea, yes plus. Yeah, so at number eight, we changed it. We was we were originally like, oh, Beauty and the Beast, like the Be Our Guest like, scene would be a cool ride, but we found out like, or I remembered, I think it's in the parks overseas somewhere. I know they did like, I saw a video of someone recording like the dance at the end. So it's like, a trackless ride like Runaway Railroad or Ratatouille, but it's being the beast thing. Or like Little Mermaid, I think it would probably be more like. Yeah, but no, it's not, but that's on a track. Oh. I know, right? That's weird. But anyways, number eight is Tangled. So we thought it would be cool to kind of have like a ride in Rapunzel's point of view where you're kind of, you could be in the boats and it just kind of takes you along Kind of like, again, like the Winnie the Pooh where there's different like scenes and when you pass by you see like Mother Gothel like talking to those evil guys or 
There is a scene where you could have the cart spin where Rapunzel's kind of like flying and stuff. You could go to the Snuggly Duck. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. And like, of course, the lanterns would be like the final scene when you leave and like they kind of all go around you. That'd be pretty. With yeah. mirrors, kind of the way like Very that. small world, but like playing I see the light the whole time. Like, pretty. you know that at the end of Spaceship Earth when you look over the thing and you get the mirrors and they have the mirrored lights and it makes the room seem like endless? Like that's mm -hmm. what I want. I mean, and the other thing that, le well, let's also be real for a second. There's only so many types of ride technology, right? Yeah. Tim's, like there's the standard dark ride with like an <laughs> Omni Mover track, that's Haunted Mansion, that is the People Mover. It's like the same technology. Then you have boat dark rides, which is, it's a small world. Pirates. Mm -hmm. um, all of it, like, Peter Pan, you know, so, like, there's only so much. In number seven, I think that there should be a roller coaster ride based off of the door scene in Monsters, Inc. You could also do Toy Story to, like, the airplane, but, like, it's the same thing. I just want a fast coaster that, like, is, like, sliding inside of, like, doors coming at you or, like, luggage. And then it takes you through, like, different, like... Like the beach or, you know, yes. like the winter Yes! You could like, how cool would that be if the coaster went through a hole and then all of a sudden you're in like in a bright, like tropical location, you go through another door and you're like in a swamp. Mm -hmm. Like that would be cool. I mean, they have the ride that you went on for the first time, the Monsters, Inc. like dark ride that yeah. was, and they have the door room and the door room is so cool, but mm -hmm. imagine like being like in a high speed coaster through that. That would be fun. So, that's my seven, or our seven. So at number six, of course, we had to mention our favorite movie, Up. So again, kind of like, uh, trackless, but more like Peter Pan again. Because like, you're, you'll be in the house and you'll have the balloons and you're kind of like floating in all the scenes where you have, you know, all the adventures happening. And then they could like kind of make the screens you know, do that lightning scene when that happens, and like you could hear the waterfalls and like do all that stuff. So, like, kind of like similar to Soren, too, where they could like put scents in. Like, it's chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs> I mean, if Universal can make eight different rides all based on the same motion simulator, like. <laughs> You could do the same for Disney movies, you know what I mean? Like, you could make it, it could be like the, uh, Jimmy Fallon one, you know what I mean? Like, you just put on some goggles and you're in a simulator, you're in the up house. Done. Mm -hmm. At number five, I don't know why I have all the coasters, but in the theme of, like, Tron coming, which I'm super excited for, it'd be awesome if you could do, like, two dueling coasters. I know they don't do dueling coasters much anymore, so they shut it down at the Wizard at Universal, but if you had like two dueling coasters, a Wally coaster and an Eve coaster, but in like a dark ride like Space Mountain, so it's Space Mountain, and picture this, <laughs> but your two lit up coasters, one is a Wally train, was an Eve train, you see a giant per like <clears throat> silhouette of the B and Lil ship, and you're like, they're just going in and around it, like you're dancing in that space scene. That would be cool. And maybe if there's a cameo, put on your Sunday clothes. That would totally make you sick, though. You don't like spinny stuff. I, if it's, no, I can handle roller coasters that spin. <laughs> I just don't like, like, teacup spinning. Mm -hmm. I don't like spinning things. But yes, Wally Ride. So number four, I know it's brand new, and there has been a little Rumors, bit of talks about it, but I would love an Encanto ride. <laughs> My ride... It's funny because like my turn are like all kind of the same concept, but again, I would kind of like you to be in the casita and have, you know, like you're going towards the rooms and then Maribel says something to a casita and like you go backwards or like tilt up or like move that way. And then like I would love to take you in a tour of all the rooms, especially Antonio's room where you could kind of like go and then they could kind of like do a big drop because you know like he has that cool foresty stuff and then you have like all the animals like jumping at you and then I think it would be cool to have like you trying to like find the 
candle, like you're like Maribel, and then like it just kind of like goes in different rooms, and then you could swing from the vine. Or Disney did put up on their TikTok a version of Country Bear Jamboree where it's playing the Encanto song from um, Isabella. And like, I don't know, it's, I think it's Bruno. No, it's Bruno. And then where like, she's like, I'm the vine. <laughs> so that could be cool also. Get rid of Country Jamboree and put in Encanto. But I still think my idea of like, going in the casino would be more fun. I like, you know, they, ha they have a few like walk through attractions, like the, it's yeah. what's it called? The house. Yeah. The, it's the Tarzan house that used to be the the Swiss Family Robinson tree house. If you could like, it's a walk through attraction, you walk through the house. Like you could walk through the casita. That'd be fun. Yeah, the, we did the one in Disneyland where you're walking through um, Sleeping Beauties. It's fine. I don't know. We're kind of like doing more like so ride attractions. Ah, we're not even doing shows. No. Ah, you could make an Encanto show. Oh, this is funny um, because as you are getting like all the dark rides, like I'm getting all of the <laughs> coasters because our number three would be an attraction devoted to Wreck-It Ralph and you could easily do another like a the first one, right? Yeah, the first you could do like an Autopia ride that was like sugar ride. Like actually, yes, that's what we should do. Get rid of Autopia because I don't understand like the old gas cars, and just make it Sugar Rush. You yeah. have multiple tracks. It would be so pretty. To Sugar Rush to have like all those beautiful like vibrant colors and all the candies and like. Or just do give it, give us a Sugar Rush holiday theme. I don't care if you keep Autopia for people who love it. Just reframe the thing and reskin it with like a um, Sugar Rush theme and like I'd be happy as a clam. Mm -hmm. I would love that. That'd be so fun. That'd be awesome. Alright, coming in at number two, I think it's one of the most beautiful scenes that would translate very well to an attraction and that is Zootopia. And obviously it's the Zootopia land so you could have like, again, on the trackless system where you go through the whole town and you have that one scene which is really fun where they go in the, mo the mouse town or whatever and there's like all those tubes and stuff like they could have you shooting in a tube oh, and going cool. around and then kind of like ending up being like Judy Hopps and having to chase people like giving them tickets and stuff. But like, just like that visual would be just so pretty. Even if it's like a, kind of like one of those walkthrough things like, or no. I think it would be cool to have kind of like that also as the Splash Mountain where like you kind of like go through the scene and then shooting down the tube would oh, be the draft. Be but I don't want to get wet, so don't you um, I mean, controversial opinion coming. What if you just got rid of the land and you made a Zootopia ride inside of the land because you have all of those like biodomes, right? <laughs> and like the glass like things so you could like have a rain room, like a water, a, like the rainforest part. Then you could go through the dark ride portion and pretend it's like cold. Just get rid of the land. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, land. <sighs> and then the number one attraction that we think is missing from Disney is a Emperor's New Groove attraction for the thing that pretty much just has designed itself. Yeah. And it's it's like, like so obvious that this would make the list, but like it's just common sense that it should be a ride already because it would be so. If easy. they ever wanted to, if that contract with like Aerosmith ever goes away and they want to retheme uh, <laughs> the. Um, What's Rock it called? Roller, roller, coaster. roller coaster. Just make it Yzma and Kronk ride. Make it an Emperor's New Groove ride. Have you shoot from zero to a hundred, whatever that speed is, and just do all those cool things while the soundtrack. Because it's like the tr system is the same. You have that one inversion loop de loop. <laughs> you're really fast. It's pretty much the Yzma ride and Kronk like and then layer. You could be obviously in that same um, big thing that they're in on the ride, and then when you fall out of it. You could even be 
like on Kronk's shoulders as Isma. As like running through it. And then you finally get to the end where you, instead now you go to the concert through VIP in that like weird brick alley. Now you're just at the, you finally reach the castle. And they already kind of like layered it out because there's also that scene in the movie where they're running and trying to chase after Cusco and like it's literally like the blue dashes and the red dashes. Like that could be like your journey too. Yes, I mean it's all there. Yeah. So, we should be Imagineers. Right? <laughs> we always have so many ideas on what should be Funkos, what should be pins. What so we we thought of fun this would be a fun video just to share our opinions on what we think is missing and could be amazing for Disney in the future. And also, um, let us know if you like these types of videos of us sitting down, because I know our hauls always seem to do the best, but we like to do other kind of things that... We just love talking Disney. Yeah. We love sharing our love of Disney with all of you, and love to hear what you think too. Yeah, so again, um, let us know what you think we missed or any that you think would be a fun ride and if you like this video give us a thumbs up yes and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy di talking disney game pop culture and lifestyle related content be sure to hit that subscribe button so you be notified of our future videos and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for joining us today and we can't wait to see you in our next video take care and be well bye, bye.